camouflage is one of the essentials to staying hidden in the woods. But many states require you to wear this, a bright blaze orange vest or jacket. But how come this orange doesn't spook whitetail? It's because the vision of a whitetail is quite a bit different from humans. First, let's see how the eye works. Light enters the eye by passing through the cornea, then the pupil, through the lens, and then hits the retina. At the back of the eye, the retina contains hundreds of thousands of rods and cones, which convert the light into electrical signals that go to the brain. One major difference between a human eye and a deer eye? We tend to see things in a round shape, like this. Ever wonder why you can see that shine in the deer's eyes in the headlights? You know, that greenish color that reflects back at you? It's because of something called the tapetum lucidium. Tapetum lucidium. The tapetum lucidium not only greatly concentrates low light, but it passes it back across the rods and cones a second time. If you took a deer eye and sliced it like this, you would see the tapetum lucidium is concentrated on the top half of the eye. This means they see stuff from the horizon and down very well, like the outline of a hunter, even in camouflage, or the outline of a pouncing coyote. This is why they survive. But why doesn't blaze orange affect a deer as much as it does a human? After all, this is as bright as it can get, right? It's because of something called photopigments. These are small areas on the rods and cones that undergo chemical changes when exposed to light that allow the brain to interpret color. Humans are called trichromats, meaning we have three pigments that see three colors. Everything we see in color are a combination of these three colors. White tail, on the other hand, are dichromats, meaning they only see in two colors. This basically means that they are less sensitive to longer wavelengths of colors, including this blaze orange vest that I'm wearing. As it turns out, blaze orange isn't what hurts you in the woods when it comes to spooking deer. It's movement. Remember the pupil of the eye? In a human, it's round, but in a white tail, it's horizontal. In fact, it can get extremely large to allow a lot of light in. Plus, the deer's eyes are widespread, meaning it has a huge 300 degree field of vision. A human has to turn their head or move their eyes and look at an object to most effectively detect its motion. But a white tail sees best holding perfectly still and allowing their horizontal pupil to see the movement across this broad field of view. They can detect almost any movement. As a rule of thumb, to be successful, think this way. If you can see a deer's eyes, he can see you if you move. Worry less about the perfect camouflage and more about breaking up the silhouette with the background you're in front of. And don't move much. That's this week's Wow Factor. Have fun.